Hey everyone, so last week I hugged a sick friend against my better judgment. She said she was no longer contagious, but since I guess my immune system is about as strong as a wet paper bag, I got sick shortly after. Then I had a wisdom tooth removed and, well, I wasn't in the best state to speak. So please accept my apologies for being late, but here's my video on fighting the common cold. Peppermint helps reduce congestion, and the menthol in it helps to soothe sore throats. The tea is a weaker form, so I like to use the essential oil, um, sometimes to rub on the chest and for headaches as well. Coconut oil is antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral, and antiparasitic. It was gross, but I ate spoonfuls of coconut oil to soothe my sore throat. Similar to coconut oil, onion is naturally antibacterial and antifungal. Onions are high in the antioxidant quercetin, which is sold in supplement form to help symptoms of allergies and colds. Garlic is the poor man's antibiotic. It contains components such as allicin that help battle germs and bacteria. These are dried shiitake mushrooms. Like the other superfoods I've talked about so far, they are said to be antibacterial and antifungal. They have a unique property of being able to regulate the immune system. So if yours is overactive, where you might get a lot of inflammation, shiitake will calm the overactive immune system. If you have a compromised immune system, it'll actually boost its function. I like to eat these as food, but they also come in supplement form at the health food stores. Avoid having dairy products as they are said to increase mucus production. Also avoid sugar because it suppresses your immune function by lowering the amount of white blood cells being produced by your body. In terms of supplements, oil of oregano kills off everything. It's antibiotic, it's antifungal, it's antiviral, but I've heard it tastes terrible. This is how I've always dosed myself to avoid the taste. I take a sip of water, then add a few drops of oil of oregano, and quickly swallow. Since oil and water don't mix, and since the density of oil is less than the density of water, you hardly taste it at all. I love science. Because the oregano also kills off the good bacteria in your gut, it's recommended that you replenish the good guys by taking probiotics at a separate time from when you do the oil of oregano. For example, if you take the oil before bed, remember to take the probiotics in the morning of the next day. Not only are we replenishing the bacteria that the oregano oil kills, but probiotics themselves increase the effectiveness of white blood cells in your body and increase the production of other immune cells. You can also get probiotics through fermented foods such as tempeh, kimchi, and pickles. Foods like Jerusalem artichoke, also known as sunchoke, and burdock root are loaded with prebiotics, which are components that feed good bacteria. Lastly, the jury's out on fermented dairy like kefir and yogurt. On the one hand, I already mentioned dairy increases mucus production. On the other hand, the mucus causing milk proteins are in a way pre-digested by this healthy bacteria in kefir and yogurt so that they are less allergenic and less likely to produce that extra mucus. If you just don't buy into this and want to avoid dairy altogether, there are ways you can ferment coconut milk with kefir grains. I've only read about it, so it sounds like a project for another day. Thanks for watching! If you have any questions or comments, please let me know below. Also remember to hit like and subscribe.